Hello everyone. I hope everything is great. So today we will learn the text area and for this we just created the one text area.html file and open this file in the browser. So let's start without wasting time. So text area is a special type of control uh, that can be used for entering the multi-line text. So let me add one heading here. Text area. So as we learn in earlier videos, when we insert an input with type text or maybe type password or maybe any other of type so that will provide us an input where you can enter some text here right and this text should be in single line you cannot able to enter the text in multiple line so for this type of situation, we can use the text area. In a real situation, when you provide some feedback forms where user need to write the comments or maybe write the reviews, feedback. So uh, they need to write the text in a paragraph format or we can say in multi-line text format. So for this type of situation, we can use the text area control that will allow user to enter the multi-line text what is the syntax and what are the attributes let's discuss that so i enter the label and add the text comments or you can add the review or anything else for adding the text area we have the tag text area and this is the syntax open text area tag and the closing text area tag when we save this and go to browser you can see this box is available here which is by default little big than the input box and we can enter the multi-line text here right and if the text is bigger than the box size then we have a scroll bar also we have this option you can see these two lines that will indicate that this box can be recited you can see we can increase the height and as well as the width so this is the default behavior of text area Whenever you add this text in the HTML page, this view is visible in the browser. Right. Let's discuss some of the attribute. First attribute can be ID. That can be used for attaching with the label or selecting this text area in styles. Right. So here I give the four and give the id of this text area refresh now if you tap on this label this text area will be selected okay. other attributes are like the name attribute that can be this name attribute used when we submit the form and fetch this uh, text area content on server side then we refer this name attribute value so this is the second attribute we can also use the placeholder attribute here right comments this is also working There is not value attribute supported as we have the uh, value attribute for other input types. So 
value attribute is not supported and if you want to add the default value then you need to simply add this data between the open text area and closing text area so let me add text area which is multi line input control so now this text is the default text for this text area and when this box is visible in the page this text will be the part of this text area right okay you can also manage the width and height of the text area by using the attributes rows and columns with rows you can set the height of the text area let me give the rows 10 go to browser refresh you can see now the height of this text area will be 10 rows you can also customize the columns and set the width of this text area maybe i give the 20 columns and when i refresh this i think this i need to increase by 30 let's see so that is i think the default one 20 and now it will have the 30 columns width and 10 rows height so this way you can manage the width and height of the control you can also set the min length and max length attribute let's use these so if i give the max length attribute to let's say 20 character save this go to browser refresh and if i add more character then this will not allow us So this will only add the 20 character and if we add more than 20 characters then this input box or we can say that this text box will have the invalid state that uh, that is uh, like uh, visible when we submit the form this field will be the invalid same way we have the min length so this min length does not restrict user to enter 10 uh, characters but when we submit the form if uh, text area have the less than 10 character then again it add the invalid text area uh, uh, property and we can customize uh, just making the border in the red or highlight this text area that this text area have the invalid value right so these are some of the attributes other than this you can use the read only attribute this will make this text area only read only so now you cannot enter more characters or you cannot delete anything but you can select this and even if you don't want to select this text area you can use the disabled attribute instead of read only so now this is the disabled and user cannot even select this right so these attributes are also available you can also use the required attribute that is useful when you just submit this form without any value so if we apply this required attribute then this text area must have some value otherwise it have the invalid property and the invalid styles will be applied to this text form so for now i remove these attributes and discuss one more thing so by default we have this uh, option user can resize this text area but when we have the real page there can be uh, other contents as well and if user resize this then the styling of our page will be affected so if we don't want to uh, allow user to resize the text area we can do this by using the css so how we can add the css we simply add the style tag inside the head tag and here i use the tag selector text area and for this we have one property which is the resize property 
and if I give the resize none, then user cannot be able to resize this input form. You can see that symbol is removed and user cannot uh, change the size of this text area now. If you allow user only to increase the height or increase the width, you can do that as well by using the vertical and horizontal property. So now user can change the height of this text area but cannot change the width. And if you give this as the horizontal, then you can change the width but not the height and if you allow both then you need to give the value as both now user can change the width user can change the height of this text area so this is all about this text area by this way you can allow user to enter the multi-line text where they can provide their comments their feedback their reviews and by this way you can uh, get the user entered comments from the form and there are multiple attributes that we discussed so if you have any question uh, for this text area you can simply comment on this video and i will definitely provide the answer for now that's all if you like this video then like it share it and subscribe my channel for now that's all goodbye